I had a customer that was pre-approved, ready to go. Okay? That took over 90 days, so I had to repull credit. An old credit card that was in his bankruptcy started reporting again. Okay? We called him up, we fought it, fought it, fought it. Finally, I sent him to a credit repair company and had it disputed, and they took it off. They deleted it. It's, I mean, if it's beyond, like if it's one or two trade lines, would you do it? If it's something like five or six or more, do you, do you kind of subcontract that out? Somebody, like I'm saying, I have somebody that has you know, good income, but their, their scores are in the toilet. And I would look at it and decide whether or not they did a couple things, if I could do it or if I would have to send them to a repair company. And then who, who does that anymore? That, that I, have, I have a contact for you. That's right. Yeah, I have a contact for you. He actually overnights the dispute letters. FedEx. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna, I'm gonna fly through this, okay? And then if you wanna ask questions afterwards, I know people have other commitments. Um, so, social security number, red flags. We'll need to get copies of the social security cards to verify the social security number. Open collection, sometimes, medical is not supposed to affect FHA. It's not supposed to affect it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Every situation's different, and we have to analyze that. Now, something that just came down the pipe, Fannie Mae, on any conventional loan, they're going to re-pull credit the day of closing slash funding. Okay? Don't forget that. Haven't they always done that? No. 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 So, what can happen is, if they opened up any trade lines, some, some FHA banks are doing the same thing. But if they opened up anything extra, or they went ahead and bought their furniture for the house before they closed on it, they're going to recalculate the debt ratios. Okay? If their credit score drops, but there has not been any change in the credit bureau, Okay, but it just dropped, it's not supposed to affect them. But if you're communicating with the buyers, don't buy anything, don't do anything, don't pay anything off, don't close any accounts. If I'm communicating that to the buyer, we have a better chance we're both beating them in their heads, but they're going to get it. Yes? What if, like, your credit card does a soft inquiry just to see um, how you're paying if they're, like, you know, thinking about, you know how they watch your yeah. payment? Does that affect the score? They no. can. So that's, yeah. well... I think it was the last sales, or no, we had a Sheila Sherber, she was in here, she did a training for us, a two-hour season. Can we talk about that after? Okay, go ahead. Please. Okay. So now, we kind of talked about it a little bit, flipping properties. Every bank, a flipping a property means that you've owned it for less than 90 days. That's what flipping a property is. Okay? So if you've owned that property for less than 90 days, and you're selling it, then it's considered flipping. Flipping, the banks believe, helped contribute to the over-appreciation. Okay, so they're going to be stricter on the flipping rules. So the FHA letter states that there is what on the flipping rules. Flipping, there you go. So FHA does not have anything that states appreciation and so forth in regards to flipping. They say it's okay, but every bank does have an overlay on the different ways that they look at flipping. Okay, so if You've owned the property for less than 90 days, and it's appreciated for less than 120%, okay? Then we have banks that will require receipts from the contractor to prove they actually did something. I don't care if it's $500 or $1,000, but receipts to prove they've done something. And as long as the house appraises, they may ask for two appraisals, they may not, they may just ask for one, okay? If it's over 120%, Okay? Be very careful with that one because there's very few banks that are doing it. Be very careful with it. But they are going to require two appraisals done on the property. This is all in the 90-day window. Mm-hmm. All in that 90-day flipping room. Oh, my God. Yeah. Because what they're doing, they're free, the cre free credit report is sending all your information to whatever you're, you, th you might be applying for. Okay? So just be careful with it. Then you get inexperienced out of state leaders, and it's a nightmare. Okay. We have about five minutes. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to pick it up here. Okay. Okay? So, something else that's popped up on credit, and we, we can stay afterwards and I'll answer questions, but disputed items on credit. Conventional now, it states, and this is only on, fan, well, it can be Fannie Mae or LP, it depends on what the, um, the findings come back as. Okay? If, do you know how uh, these credit repair companies dispute accounts? 
they dispute your accounts for you to try to get them deleted or whatever? Yeah. Okay. Just repetitive. Yes. Okay. Well, now, if you have any account that shows up on your credit as disputed, Fannie Mae, if it shows up in the findings, will not approve that loan until they get it out of disputed status. Okay? And it is a pain. Well, do you want to wait till after?